And more money going to high-speed rail. This time, it's a $3.4 billion federal commitment to connect Caltrain and high-speed rail to downtown San Francisco. The so-called Portal Project will eventually integrate 11 transit systems. And ABC7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn is here in studio with us with a new development. Suzanne? So, Larry, Kristen, it may seem like a long way off, but leaders are celebrating this big boost in funding that will eventually connect Caltrain's 77-mile system and the planned high-speed rail system to the Salesforce Transit transit center in the heart of downtown San Francisco. Right below the Grand Hall of the Salesforce Transit Center, stretching for several blocks, Speaker Emerita, Nancy Pelosi, and other leaders get a glimpse of the future. It's about the future, as you see. It will take some time. In the future, this 80,000 square foot area will be the concourse level with shops. Further below, this is where 4th Street Caltrain Station will connect with the Transit Center. And it'll eventually be where you can also catch high-speed rail. It's a big deal. The portal transit plan will move forward thanks to one huge gift from the federal government. $3.4 billion. Yesterday is cause for celebration. The total budget is about $8.4 billion, which includes the train box that was built several years ago. Um, and, you know, the $3.4 billion that the federal government just committed is huge. It brings us to two-thirds funded for this project. The Trans Bay Joint Power Authority says the portal project will bring together key modes of transportation in the future. This project brings Caltrain all the way from 4th and King all the way into downtown San Francisco. And right behind it will be California High Speed Rail. The High Speed Rail project is projected to cost $106 billion, according to California High Speed Rail authorities. Critics say the project faces a nearly $7 billion shortfall to finish the Central Valley segment. And the project also needs about $100 billion to connect San Francisco and Los Angeles by high speed rail. Supporters remain confident. You know, high speed rail, which is part of this, really is starting in California. So take pride in that. When we show and demonstrate the giant steps that are going forward, then it's easier to attract more resources to get the job done. The key is to get it done sooner because time is not free. And every time a year passes, the costs keep going up. We just need to break ground. And the California High Speed Rail Project has been hit by rising cost estimates, delays, and litigation. Critics say the cost of phase one between San Francisco and Los Angeles is now three times the initial cost.